Let's do this. I love my life. Hello, you furries, for suitors, and for friends. Welcome back. And today, I want to be doing a new little thing that I thought would be really cute. Um, something called Fursuiting 101, where I answer any of your questions about fursuiting. Um, I want to make an announcement at the end of the video and at the beginning of the video. One, I'm in this most, um, the most amazing chair. It's a bungee chair. Woo, my booty touched the ground. Girl, this is a nice chair. Okay, so before I want to start, I wanted to mention if you haven't seen my social media accounts, um, I am going to be at Fur Reality, which is in Cincinnati, Ohio, this Saturday, Saturday only, unfortunately, it's here. So if you see me or my best friend, Cooper the Mouse, also known as Mouser the Mouse, wearing his amazing new tail, here's a picture of his said amazing tail. If you see it, please come say hi to us and like love us because I love you too and I want your love because I am a lonely sad bean. <laughs> okay, anyway, so starting this, I'm basically... Today's episode of First Seating 101, I'm just going to be answering random First Seating questions that people have asked me. Um, post notes. Technology. Um, and so, when I do another episode of this, I hope I will, but maybe, maybe yes, no, maybe so, depending on what you guys want. Uh, if I do another episode, it'll be like specified, like First Seating 101, handlers, or what to do in your suit, like performance, or like blah, 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 how to commission, that kind of thing. So, I'm here to help you guys. And, Trying to hook you up. Um, anyway, how do you put on the fursuit head? Well, lucky you, I happen to have a fursuit head, so I can tell you. It's really easy. Step one, get a fursuit head. Step two, find out whether you have a zipper in the back, I do not, or you have a slip on, which I do. Then you just open up the hole of a of abyss. Stick your head in it, and now if you're at this stage, you don't want to pull on the neck, put down, push down on the nose, and then make any adjustments you want, and then BAM, you're furry trash! What was my parents' reaction to me being a furry? Well, to be honest, my mom thought I wanted to be uh, the abominable snowman. No joke. Yeah. So, um, they're weirded out, of, of course. It's it's a very weird thing. Think about it. You're, you're putting yourself into an animal costume made out of foam and fake fur and dancing around. It's... It's weird, okay? So, yeah, of course they're gonna take a little iffy, but they're fine with it. They helped me pay for this one. I have to pay for my own, but, you know. They're supportive. I'll just say that. How long does it take me to make each part of my suit? Like, tails and paws. Well, heads, okay, all together it takes one to two months. Um, if I exceed that, I am being a lazy bum and I need to get up. Oh, God. So heads normally take the longest amount of time. Earliest I've gotten them done is two weeks, latest a month. Paws take about a week or two. Tails, a week or two. Uh, feet paws take longer because there's a lot there's a lot more to them they're big it's like the size of my face times three so uh, about a month or two to make everything um in a partial i'd say who is my favorite fursuit maker well if you don't know by now in february i'm gonna try to commission my favorite fursuit maker that's furred up. There you go. Those cuties right there. They're adorable. I love them. Who runs um, the social media accounts with Bucket Studios? And do we have separate social media accounts, Rylan and I? Well, I run the social media accounts. I run the website. <laughs> but Ryan and I go over discussions because we're a partnership, so I... Uh, manage everything, but I go over everything with her first. And actually, we're possibly bringing in a new member. Name's Cooper, the one I talked about earlier going to the con with. Yep, he's um, he's kind of like training to 
get in with us, so we're giving him like little side projects. So uh, Cooper has his own account, link down on Instagram, description, check it out. He's an awesome dude. What are my other hobbies? Mm, okay, I like to die, I like to sleep, I like to eat, and I like to die again. But, um, no, I play volleyball, I ride horses, I listen to music, I pretend to play music, I, um, contemplate life, um, I... What's my favorite thing about being a fursuiter? Well, that's a great question there. <laughs> my favorite thing is probably me acting like I'm a complete idiot and people still think I'm cute. <laughs> this is unrelated to fursuiting, but I thought I'd do it anyway because people want to know. Apple or Android? Apple. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Hot dog or hamburger? Hamburger all the way. But I'm weird and I only eat it without the bun. Just plain patty. Neat. <laughs> Who is my fursona? Well, unlike people like it, I have three fursonas. Um, one was my first. Her name is Base. Here she is. I have rarely any art of her because she was my fursona for so little amount of time and I really had no connection with her. But I considered her my fursona. Here is my dear... Here is my darling baby checks. Um, his name's just Chex. Um, he's a stubborn butt who hates life, like myself. But I have another persona. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the deer slash wicker beast extravaganza. Not really, she's just cute. Sheena, this is Sheena. I actually, I have a plushie of her that just came in the mail today. My baby. She's so adorable. This is also her reference She but my baby is so cute i love her so much ah, she's so adorable but the person who made my plushie freaking made me these buttons oh they're so cute look at this look at this sheena look at the sheena button and they even made me one of me that's me it says kyla wolf don't we look alike This is a question I get asked, like, way too often that I've, like, stopped responding. So I'll just say right here. Where do I get my supplies? I either get it from fursuitsupplies.com, fabric.com, um, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. I, no, I don't get anything from Michael's. Literally, I will link them down in the description. They are, like, heaven, but that's literally all, I never get my supplies from anywhere else. Out of 1 to 10, how do I rate fur cons? I rate it an 8. 68. What are my advice for young suitors? Um, be careful. There's a lot of creepy people in this fandom. The mer suits. <coughs> um, be careful. Don't let anyone, um, make fun of you because you're a young suitor. Because that's amazing. Literally, like, being a young suitor, I was a young suitor, be prepared to be surrounded by a lot of 20-year-old people if you go to furcons. Yeah. But you, being a young suitor is not a bad thing. Do I recommend a partial for beginners? Um, that's hard. Because it depends. It really does. Factors include, have you ever tried on a suit? I had not. Um, a lot of people get like full suits as their first one which I do not recommend because if you've never tried on a suit you don't even know if you're gonna like it that's like what my uh dad told me when I got my partial he's like you don't know if you like it so don't get a full and I'm like okay um but if you've tried on a suit and you know you love it then yeah full suit's great but um a partial just know that it takes a lot of work and you'll get really sweaty and you'll hate your life forever but I, I'd say a partial for beginners or a head for beginners is pretty good. Resin or foam base? Well, I make all of my heads through a foam base, but I honestly love the realistic look of resin bases along with the moving jaw. But I'd probably have to prefer uh, foam bases. Just like for my own personal use, but I really love the look of resin bases. Like, they look amazing. How do 
you start making a fursuit? Well, you start by whipping together a bunch of foam, you beat it a few times and cut it in half, and then BAM! You've got a fursuit. Just watch a bunch of tutorials, to be honest. I can't tell you. I, I don't even know how to explain it to myself. How do you convince your parents that you can make a fursuit? Well, first introduce them, make sure they're comfortable, and then just say, you know, instead of making you buy me one, how about I make one? I'm not going to be answering questions about my business and how much like I, I, I price things because you can just go to my website, which is down in the description below, bucketstudios.net. Hit me up. I'm open for quotes all the time. Alright, and so here's the part that I've been dreading to uh, tell you guys. As mentioned earlier, in February, I'm going to try and commission That's for it Up. But here's where I need your guys' help like really badly if I do get the slot which I I'm I don't want to sound like selfish or cocky or anything but I'm, I'm fairly pop like I'm, I have high hopes that I'm gonna get the slot and well I don't have I'm not gonna have all the money to get it I'm gonna be about $500 short and my parents aren't going to loan me that much money, which is fine because, you know, I need to learn how to save and stuff, which I'm very bad at because I commissioned all of these badges. But, um, if I do get the slot, or when, my baby Kyla is going to be put up for sale. And it makes me so sad because look at this cute face. I don't want to put her up for sale, but I have to. I really do. <sighs> so... Her starting price will be five hundred dollars. I would, um, I would like honestly to get six to seven because I paid about six fifty for her, and then I got a pair of a hundred dollar paws because her old ones were awful, and I'm gonna be selling her with the nicer paws. So her total value is like seven hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm only asking for five hundred. And she's in like perfect condition. She's only two years old. She's gonna be three this year. Oh my god. But I really need someone to take her to a really nice home. And so I'm just giving you a heads up so you can start saving if you'd like to buy her. Because I really I really need her to be sold. And I really need her to go to a really, really nice place. Um, a really nice home that will take great care of her. The only catches are you can't um, claim that you are Kyla Wolf. I'm still Kyla Wolf. You have to change Kyla's name. And you have to change her design a little bit. Um, I'd be happy to refurbish her for, like, you'd have to pay for that a little bit. What, probably, like, I don't know, 150 or something? Or $100 to refurbish her to, like, any other character you want? I just need her gone, honestly. Which I hate to say, don't listen, baby. Don't listen. She's in perfect condition. I just, like, I need her to go to a good home. And so, I can't really, um afford to keep her here just because I I really do want this new suit um it's gonna be a full suit and in order to get this I need Kyla to go yeah so if you guys are interested please you can email me um about more information about her I will tell you guys when she is up for sale but that is what's gonna happen and on a happier note, I hope to get better equipment so that the video quality doesn't suck as much. But that'll come near December when my birthday and Christmas are. So, as I say, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I love you guys so much. Please watch again, and I hope to see you later. Bye! Ah!